In anticipation for the new James Bond blockbuster to come out, I wanted to go through a full movie marathon on Daniel Craig's James Bond movies prior to seeing No Time to Die. To get up to speed with what is going on, and to help contextualize what is happening in the movie. And I must say, these movies are great and entertaining pieces of action movies. Some are phenomenal action thrillers, and others leave a lot to be desired. But one did stand out to me as the best of the rest, and that is the 2012 film, Skyfall. Sam Mendes had a very difficult task in directing a follow-up after Quantum of Solace's very mixed and some might say general negative response. Mendes knew that he needed to strike it out of the ballpark with the movie, both critically and commercially. And in all intents and purposes, he did just that, breathing life back into the franchise. Skyfall is a beautifully shot and well-paced action thriller, picking up years after Quantum of Solace and questions Bond's worth to the MI6 and M. It goes through and carefully carves into the viewer's experience, James Bond's history and who he is beyond the 007 moniker. A story of a grandmaster tactician and physically gifted specimen that has glaring flaws both physically and mentally. It's a masterpiece in visual storytelling, and that is not to be ignored. Roger Deakins, who did the cinematography for 1917, Blade Runner 2049, and Prisoners, also helms this film as its director of photography. And you could definitely tell. Each scene, while beautifully stunning, is carefully curated for the film's gritty tone. A masterclass, really, and one that should be deemed a classic in visual storytelling. Especially with its dreary and metaphysical opening credits, portraying the film's story through abstract sequences, along with Adele's skyfall that had been made for the film, making the best opening credits sequence I've ever seen. It's not without its flaws, however. The story is logically weak, having multiple things that have to go right in order for Silva's story to make sense and go his way. And while the film should be focused on him, the movie's heart is really in the relationship between Bond and M, the only woman in Bond's life that he doesn't lust over and sees as an authority figure, dare I even say parental figure. This pushes Silva's antagonistic but logically flawed plan as a subplot and rather pivots to Bond's relationship with M as a main focus. But to me, this gets overshadowed by the film's strengths. Skyfall is the best spy thriller action adventure I've ever seen, pulling from classic Bond films like Camp Equips and the iconic E minor Bond chord, while also pushing against the standards simultaneously. Its visuals are phenomenal, the opening credits is excellent, Dana Crick's performance is perfect, its story is gripping and exciting, and it's as Bond, James Bond, as it will ever be.